Warriada constituency is home to many dreams and aspirations. Dreams of a society where children are free to imagine and work towards a future that guarantees equal opportunity. Where locals engage in trade and enterprise and the old age gracefully due to the presence of social safety nets. The last two decades have seen the people of Rarieda tap into the existing resources and opportunities to prove that rapid development is possible when servant leadership is given a chance. The Honorable Engineer Nicholas Gumbo has been at the driver's seat in leading the great people of Rarieda at maximizing the opportunities that abound. What I would consider my biggest achievement is the development of human capacity within the constituency. And this, by the way, is not something I started just as a way of going to Parliament. This is something that I started way back. As uh, one of uh, the men I admire most in the world, um, Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum says, if you want to live well for one year, grow maize or wheat. If you want to live well for 10 years, grow trees. But if you want to live well for generations and centuries, grow people. I have a lot in really an army of people who have benefited from the RESA program. Forget about the government bursaries. This is my own bursary, which is always extracted from a portion of my personal earnings. This, to me, is one of my greatest achievements ever. Infrastructure is a hallmark of any society that seeks meaningful and equitable growth. In the first four years of his tenure, the Honorable Gumbo saw the construction of 90 kilometers of roads, bringing the total tarmac road area to 115 kilometers and numerous other all-weather roads allowing for improved access into the constituency. In the last four years, aside from the 21 kilometers which were there, we have added just about 90 kilometers of tarmac roads. And I'm proud to say that in this country, Rarieda constituency today has one of the best road services. Honorable Gumbo's enthusiasm, passion and commitment as a leader has been felt in and out of parliament, especially when he is standing and fighting for the things that he believes in. This is a matter that is not even political. This is a matter that touches at the very core of existence of our society. We keep off our children from school. We are inviting destruction upon the nationhood of Kenya. And that is what this greedy selfish and scrupulous school heads are doing. The Honorable Gumbo has proved to be a sworn defender of prudent use of public resources and a fighter against corruption. Are you acting for somebody? Uh, uh, you. Chair, before my client answer questions, no, please, I think, please, I think, those questions are straight. You are not here to answer for your client. I'm and not no, 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 no. It is not being unfair. I have asked straight question. Other than that, I will put it to you. You did not supply even one pebble of stone. His inspirational leadership was evident as he ably led Parliament's Public Accounts Committee in an effort to bring to justice the culprits of the NYS scandal. You are the one, Madam Waiguru, who said that in all the time you were the ministry, you never ever gave a verbal instruction. And I'm asking you, where was that instruction that you gave to Mangiti, either by a memo that we said we had a meeting, please do your letter and bring it to me so that I said... It is this set of skills, leadership men, and a vision for his people that allows Honorable Gumbo to look beyond his Rarieda home turf and seek to cast his vision wider. Those who are well-meaning and want to make a difference in the lives of our people cannot be indifferent by standards. They have to step into the ring and make a difference. And that's what I'm going in to do, to make a difference in the lives of everyone in Sierra County. To be a governor of Sierra County is an immense privilege. But like all privileges, they must be exercised with extreme responsibility. This is the county that gave America its first black president. This is the county that gave Kenya its first vice president. This is the county that gave East Africa, not just Kenya, its first black professor in the name of the late David Wasau. This is the county that gave Kenya its first black lawyer in the name of the late Arguens Kodek. 
This is the county that gave Kenya its first black surgeon in the name of Angawa Joremo. And lastly, this is the county which gave Kenya its first black elected woman member of parliament, Madam Grace Onyango. Therefore, to be a governor of Sierra County is an immense privilege. That privilege has to be enjoyed with commensurate responsibility. Siaya County is nestled in the beautiful shores of Lake Victoria, bordered by four counties with a total population landmass of approximately 2,496 square kilometers, with a population of 842,304. The economic mainstay in Siaya County is agriculture, livestock, and fisheries. Bondo and Rarieda border Lake Victoria the second largest freshwater lake in the world. Alego, Songa and Game are crisscrossed by Rivayala, a permanent river source. Ugenya and Ugunja are crisscrossed by River Nzoya. There is no reason why we cannot grow enough food for our people. My big, my first aim is to make sure that everyone in Sierra County goes to bed on a full belly. Using CDF money, I did four classrooms at 2.4 million shillings. Next door, four classrooms at 2.4 million shillings. That's an average of 600,000 uh, shillings. Next door, they were doing two ECD classes. At how much? Six million shillings. CDF does one classroom for 600,000. County government does one classroom for three million. It doesn't make sense. I am also the chairman of Public Accounts Committee the other day. Somebody sent me papers, which of course should have gone to the Senate, showing that a three-door toilet was done somewhere in Sierra County for six million. I do believe that after five years, there is no reason why we cannot grow enough food for our people. My big, my first aim is to make sure that everyone in Sierra County goes to bed on a full belly. So the second point that I will attack is education, especially for the underprivileged. Because remember, all systems that aim to uplift the underprivileged must have a system of equity. Because you know equity is always the avenue to achieving equality. We have to tackle education as a long-term strategy to ensure that CI becomes a land of plenty. Then of course the health sector. There is a lot of games that go on in terms of the infrastructure that is being built, in terms of the supply and distribution of drugs. Then, of course, there is the question of the youth. Right now, if you look at the structure of Sierra County, the governor has surrounded himself with retirees. I'm not saying retirees have no right to leave, but my friend, they have had their time. Some of these people are on a pension. Why would you give them first priority when two children who have left school are not being catered for? It has also been proven that once you empower women, you empower the family. We serious women empowerment programs. Serious women empowerment programs. All that most of our people want is to be capacitated, given opportunities, so that they are able to realize their potential. Providing clean drinking water for everyone in Siaya is not only achievable, it is actually a beckoning reality. Set the priorities right. And the priorities, by the way, have been defined by the Abraham Mantlow's need hierarchy theory. Today, if you give someone in a grass touch house electricity and they have no food, where do they even get money to pay for electricity? Start with the basic needs going upwards and make everyone feel that they have reason to be proud, to make an input into making Siaya a land of plenty and a land of prosperity. A loyal party member and a champion of the vision and ideology of the ODM party, Gumbo seeks to carry on the party's interest, manifesto and philosophy in governing the wider Siaya County. I want to thank our party for leading the way in democratic governance in Kenya. I've been steadfast in ODM. 
I've made sure my monthly contribution to the party goes since January 2008. I attend virtually every ODM conference where, when I'm in the country and able. So I've been, because I believe in the ideals of ODM. ODM stands for reforms. ODM stands for devolution. ODM stands for social protection of the vulnerable members of, among other things. So I believe in the party. I believe in the party leader. Uh, not least because he's also an engineer like me and, uh, and has major achievements. A lot of people don't even know that the brains, for instance, behind uh, the founding of the Kenya Bureau of Standards. Despite the nature of his work, Engineer Gumbo has managed to make time for his family and to be there for them. In my life, my children come first. My name is Engineer Nicholas Gumbo. For the past 10 years, I've had the distinguished honor and privilege to represent the great people of Rarieda as their member of parliament in the National Assembly. In those 10 years, Rarieda constituency has made tremendous strides and today it boasts one of the best infrastructure uh, services in the whole Republic of Kenya. I now appeal to the people of Siaya County to give me the opportunity to represent them as their governor so that we can replicate the tremendous achievements that we have made in Rarieda on a much larger scale in Sierra County. Mm -hmm.